Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Withering Cottage. Well, hello again, and welcome back to my basement, aka my office. How are you guys doing? I said good morning, but it might not be morning for you. It might be evening, middle of the day, good whatever time of day it is to you. I want to start off by saying I might sound a little <clears throat> and I apologize for that. The reason being is my daughter started pre-k this year and she has brought home literally every form of germ out there in the universe. So um, this has been an everyday thing for us since she started pre preschool. So don't be alarmed. Do not be alarmed. I am fine. I am just fine. So don't you worry about a thing. We are starting off in my basement again today because I want to talk to you guys about some things. We are, we are, I am planning on going to another local little antique store. Um, this one the turnaround rate on their merchandise is not the best, but I have gotten lucky there a couple of times. So we're going to give that one a go. And about like five minutes down the street from that is a Goodwill. So we are going to try <clears throat> and go to the Goodwill as well. Now, I have never tried to film inside of a Goodwill. So I don't know how strict they're going to be. We can try to be a little incognito, but we'll just have to see how that goes. I made some notes because I want to talk to you guys about some things. First and foremost, hear me, hear ye, hear ye. I wanted to say that I am a reseller. I do enjoy reselling antiques and vintage items the very most out of anything, but that does not, that is not all I sell. I sell on eBay and I will sell you know, anything that can make a, that I come across that I think can make a profit as long as I, you know, it's morally appropriate. So even though I eat, sleep and breathe vintage and antique goods, if I'm out shopping and I see something that I know for a fact does good on eBay, I probably will still pick it up. Also, I am not like an expert on anything. I am someone who knows a little bit about a lot of things. So my brain probably works a little differently than most of you guys. So when I see a piece, the way my brain works is I know how much it sells for. And I know if I've sold it before and if I made a good profit on it. And I know essentially it's, it's somewhat backstory like who makes it. But mainly the way my brain works is I'll see something and I'll say, oh, I know that piece and I know it sells for this. I might not be able to tell you guys off the top of my head the history about it or who makes it. Um, that's just how my brain operates, especially when I'm out sourcing and I see a lot of things. My brain just kind of is, is scanning those shells for those items, my bread and butters that I know sell. Um, <clears throat> so if you see me pick up something and I mispronounce it or I say that it is the wrong maker which I promise you I'm going to do pretty frequently because like I said I am not an expert on anything um, I just do this because I really enjoy it and I do my best to try to give you guys the right description of it and the right maker but I am human and I am bound to mess up and I am certainly not perfect and I just hope you guys can bear with me and please if I miss um misname something or say the wrong thing do tell me in the comments I I'm totally except I I love to learn I'm not too proud I will always listen just you know just be nice about it and just say like hey you you said this wrong like in my um last video I mislabeled one of the vases I think I believe I said it was Viking and it was Ellie Smith and a couple of you guys let me know that I was wrong and I am so grateful because that helped me make an accurate listing in my eBay store which is totally important you don't want to mislead your buyers you want to be as honest as you can with them so I am certainly appreciative of that so just bear with me as we go shopping and so just keep that in your brain also currently 
in my eBay store at the.withering.cottage uh, at eBay. I will leave the link in my description box below if you guys want to go check it out. As of this morning, I have 93 active listings. My goal is by the end of this, by the time this video posts, I want 100 active listings. <laughs> Excuse me. So beside me, I have five items I'm going to try to list today, which means that leaves us with uh, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 items. So when we go out today, I'm going to try to find at least two more items to get me to my 100 item listed uh, on my eBay. So real quick before we head out to the stores, I'm going to show you guys the five items that I will be hopefully listing on my eBay before this video comes out. So the first thing is this. I love these. I have a collection of these myself, but I did pick up um, quite a few of these at Scott's Antique Market last month, Antique Presentation Box. So you would have your jewelry displayed in this box. It does have this Mother of Pearl press release button so that when you press it, it pops open like that. And it is so beautiful. This is a great... Um, box if you are gifting somebody a piece of antique or vintage jewelry and you want the box to match it's got this beautiful velvet to it and it's in very nice clean condition with the satin interior and the mechanism works perfectly and this is definitely a bigger one you don't come across them this big <clears throat> that often so this one will be on my ebay um next up who remembers this from my haul video from when I went to Indiana? I found another one, which is just crazy because I'd never seen one. And then I saw two within like a couple weeks of each other. Now, in my haul video, I did say that I believe this, that I believe this was a child's piggy bank. That might still very well be true, but my brain did come up with another thing. It might be for stamps. So you might have set this on your desk and put your roll of stamps in there and slowly pulled out each stamp. And it says the same thing. It says, what? Oh, she bumps 500,000. And on the back, it says made in Germany. And it's got the mama pig and the baby pig. This one has a lot more of its original paint than the one I'm keeping. It does look like it has a repair or a crack alongside there, but I will be sure to list that in the description. Other than that, it's in very good condition. It still as well has those clovers that make such fun. This would be such a fun little thing to add to your St. Patrick's Day display. So this will be on my eBay too. Next, I've got this beauty. This, now again, correct me if I'm wrong. I do believe this one is L.E. Smith. It is in very nice condition. Um, the only thing I see is this line in there but it is not it's not a it's not a, a crack it just seems like it's a manufacturer like crease but it is so beautiful so this will as well be on my ebay if you are interested in this piece then i love these these are those acrylic candlesticks with the gold flakes inside these are, let's see, 10 inches. These are the 10 inches ones. And these are orange, so these are fantastic for Halloween and fall. So these will be, um, and they both have their original wicks and their original paper labels. Of course, they've got that sticky residue from where they were stuck in the candle holders. But these will be on my eBay as well this week if you want to go check those out. And last and final piece before we head out. Is, these are very hard for me to sell. Let me tell you guys, I really want to keep these, but I cannot keep everything as much as I would like to. I cannot. So these will be on my eBay as well. It is this um, butterfly coaster set. They are made out of real butterflies and real butterfly wings. They are all there. They are vintage and they are in beautiful, perfect condition. They are made in Brazil. Look at these. Are these not amazing? These are going to kill me to get rid of. I'm not going to lie. And they have the glass tops. They're so beautiful. I've held on to these for a while because I did not want to get rid of them. But we got to do what we got to do. 
Oh, look, look at the, the price of those. $75. So these will be on my eBay if you are interested in checking these out. Ugh, they are so pretty. The silver is in such, still such good condition. There's really no discoloration, no tarnishing, no anything. So if you are interested in these, they will be on my eBay. So without further ado, let's get to shopping. See you guys there. And yes, we do have our lucky ring. All right, guys, we just got to the Goodwill in Villa Rica, Georgia. Let's go in and see if we can find any treasures. So unfortunately, right when we walked into the Goodwill, the music was bumping. So I wasn't able to do a regular talk through. I picked up this piece originally thinking that it could be Raku pottery, but the bottom definitely let me know that it wasn't. Then I saw this piece. Now, I love crazing. I know a lot of people don't like crazing, but for me, the more crazing, the better. I just love it. I did do a little oopsie daisy and peel back the sticker to see who makes it, and it was Fonts Graph. So, I don't know that I'm going to grab this one. Now, right above it, I found this cutie. Look at her. She's in great condition. She's left in for $1.99. She is going in the cart. And I am so sorry, guys. I know I'm going super duper fast. It was crowded and I got nervous. And I don't know, but look at that lady. She is about due any second, I'd say. Hmm, and then looking around, I see some Starbucks mugs. I'm so sorry I'm going so fast, guys. I promise I am going to work on that. On slowing down, I promise. I flipped these over thinking that they could possibly be Fiesta wear. But I didn't see the handles and they were not. So there you go. <laughs> then we're going to turn the corner. I always look at these end caps. You can find some really good things. Make sure you always look on the bottom shelf because look at that. A toy china tea set. This is made in Japan. It was saran wrapped together so I didn't get to look to make sure all the pieces were in it. But I decided for $5.99. I'm going to take the gamble, so in the cart she goes. And then the next aisle is the pots and pans. Now I do try to look through the utensils usually because you can find some sterling silver. At Sometimes I've found some, so I do try to look, but like I said, it was pretty crowded, so I did just kind of cruise on by there and just see what else they had. I flipped this over, just double checking that it wasn't Le Creuset and it definitely was not. There's a salad spinner for your salad spinning needs, a brownie pan for all of you that like all of your edges. Then I don't know what this is. First I thought it was a tree holder, but it was ceramic. So you guys let me know in the comments if you have any idea what that could possibly be. Here's another little view of it. I'm looking down seeing what there is to see a whole lot of nada on this aisle and then if you go across the way they had a lot of clear glass they did have some goblets but they were pretty chipped up so i passed on those again more clear glass jeez girl slow down i'm so sorry guys i know i was going so so fast promise i promise i will slow down next time then there is some cookware and a bunch more clear glass. Now I know you can do a lot with clear glass. I just wasn't on a clear glass hunt today, but sometimes clear glass works great for certain projects. It just depends on what you are looking for that day and what you need. Now on this aisle, we have the metal and wood aisle. I saw these vintage tins. I guess I wasn't into them because I just kept on going. I'm so sorry again, I'm going so fast. I did see this Argentina carved knife thingy majiggy. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but I guess I didn't like that either. I'm looking around, seeing what there is to see. I picked this up, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't Arthur Court and made in China. It's certainly not an Arthur Court. 
but I still wanted to check. Then let's see, we're looking around. I see some copper molds, some houseware, everyday items. Nothing is really catching my eye. I don't really see, I've picked this up thinking maybe it could possibly be chalkware, but it wasn't, and it was actually very sticky, which I did not like at all. So that was not fun for me. A little pineapple mirror. Let's see. And then we're on to the wood side. They did have a lot of stuff. I didn't really see anything that caught my eye. Here is this glisteny kitty fairy box. That was kind of cute. And then look at this birdhouse. I was kind of liking this, but then I flipped it over and saw the price of $9.99. And I was like, hmm, I might hold off on this one, but it was pretty cool. Then I saw this little shoe for $1.99. It does look to be hand carved. I think I'm going to make a little assemblage out of this. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, I loved this. I love that color. You guys know I collect little baby dolls. This is so cute, this little vintage baby cradle. I definitely had to stick that in the cart. Now we are on to everybody's favorite aisle, the bric-a-brac, knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone aisle. This is where you can find all your little vintage figurines and a lot of little tchotchkes. This little snail was made of stone. It was so cute, but unfortunately it was broken. I thought that that cat was wood, but it turned out to be like a resin type material. So I didn't like him that much. Um, I'm looking around. I see a lot of more modern pieces. Still looking, hoping to find something that's a little more vintage. These appear to possibly be vintage, but they were made in China. This was interesting. It was a piece of pottery. I was looking for a signature. I didn't see one. Um, I put it back also because I believe it was around $11.99 without a signature. I don't know, I just wasn't that into it. These are cute, $1.99 originally. She was super adorable, but she decapitated her baby duck, so I wish I could have got her, but unfortunately she had too much damage. But she was cute nonetheless. All right, moving right along. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Again, double checking this kitty. It's not wood. Then I see these three. Now I do notice that that one bunny's ear is chipped, but I think the one in the middle is a Beatrix Potter, and those can do pretty darn good. So I'm just gonna take a quick peek -a doo and yep, it is Beatrix Potter. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these little guys. Oh, he looks scared. Excuse us, mister. I see this sleeping kitty. It is more modern. I see this and I wonder what it is. It appears to be a, some type of flag desk set. Not really sure. Then I see this hobbyist piece. It is a horsey. How cute is that? It was a little pricey and it was very big and heavy so I did put that back. I did put this planter in my cart. And I took a, another look at it and I walked around with it for a while, but I just, I wasn't absolutely in love with it. So I did end up putting that back. Then I saw this piece of etched glass. I looked it over for a signature. I didn't see anything. It was very pretty. It did have a made in Slovakia sticker on it. In hindsight, I might have, should have picked that up, but I didn't, so... There's that. Then I saw this guy. I probably should have picked him up too, to be honest. Little Pillsbury Doughboy planter, but I ended up putting him back too. Then I'm looking around. No maker's mark on that piece. Sorry about the frog in my throat. My goodness. 
And then here's more of like your household everyday items. So I think we are about done with this aisle. This linen aisle was so skinny. It was crazy. You could barely fit through it at all. I always look through this aisle for vintage linens, especially vintage Disney sheets. Those can do really, really good on eBay. I saw this and my mind went straight to how cute would this be wrapped around the base of a Christmas tree. Um, I did look it over. It wasn't wool, which is kind of what I was going for, but it was still really cute, but I didn't end up getting that. I'm looking, I do see this crocheted blanket. I did like the colors, but unfortunately it had a couple stains, so I passed on that as well. And I am looking for anything. I like this yellow, but boy, was it tangled up at the bottom. Do not put these in your dryers, guys. And then at the end of this aisle, they kind of have these grab bags, kitchen and crafting. I look through here for um, some ribbon and lace for my packages. I always tie my, sorry guys, that was my phone. I should have turned that off before I started doing this. Um, I did like this, but it was $6.99, so I did pass on that as well, and we're moving right along. Now, at this particular Goodwill, they do have the this, like, section of grab bags near the checkout. Um, I always look through these. You can really find some good bags if you really take your time to look through them. Um, it is kind of in a weird spot because it's right at the checkout, so... I, you do tend to get in people's way, so you kind of try to be quick at it, but you still want to make sure you see what all there is to see. Now, these grab bags are kind of like you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. They don't really make sense, but you can come away with some good stuff. Now, I did see this bag, and it had a brand new pack, a brand new roll of tape in it, and my reseller friends out there know how expensive tape can be. So it was $3.99. I did go ahead and grab it and put it in my cart, but I did end up putting it back because there wasn't really anything else in the bag that really warranted me getting it. Now, if you can find one of these with like craft stuff in it, those are really good, especially if you have a small child like me. She loves going through them and crafting and kind of coming up with different things to make with the items in the bags. So that can be really fun. You can find a lot of just random houseware stuff. Now this bag, it did have a couple of cute things in it that I did really want and I was pretty interested in. Like it had this little bunny figurine in it. Um, it had this little Coisonne piece in it. And then this little booklet of the tales of Miss Piggy. I can't quite read it, but I did want to grab it, but it had a lot of other stuff in it that I wouldn't really know what to do do with so I did decide to leave it behind again I'm just looking for something that really jumps out at me this was kind of fun um, but again it was mixed with a bunch of other stuff that I'm not really sure what I would do with so I left that one behind as well and then I'm still just looking but unfortunately oh I do see him he is cute he's like a wall hanging I love that glaze um I I was thinking about him but I did pass on him as well I don't know I guess at this point I was just being a little picky but yeah so there's those we did pretty darn good in there I am thoroughly impressed with us me us together with the treasures we did really good I found some stuff for my booth I found some stuff for eBay and of course I found some stuff for me, so it works out well. Um, yeah, well, sorry about that voiceover. Um, there was no way I could get around it. The music there was very loud. So let's hope that the next place doesn't have loud music and also let's hope, hope that they allow us to film because I don't know if they're going to. So fingers crossed and let's go. All right. We are pulling up at our next stop, and it is at Another's Antiques in Villarica, Georgia. Like I said, hopefully they let me film. I'm gonna go in and ask. So 
So here we are. See you guys inside. So they did give me permission to film, so I get to take you guys along with. Yay! <laughs> Here is the very first booth when you walk in. That is pretty. That's a pretty shade of blue. Some refrigerator dishes. That top one looks like it would be uranium glass. I can't quite see the price. You guys tell me how much is it? I can't see. This yellow basket glass is pretty. Bunch of milk glass. I like this tea set. Let's see, is it Czechoslovakia? It is Czechoslovakia. That's pretty. I like that orange. Some pretty candlesticks. Here's this mid-century vase. Actually, it appears to me to be more like 80s. Some yellow pottery pots. Here is some antique and Victorian dolls. Oh my goodness, look at that baby over there. He's, he is up to no good, Mr. Baby. Oh, look at the little strawberry shortcake baby. I never seen a baby one. Oh, I see some tin types. Two dollars on him, five on him. I'm probably not going to show you guys what I grab. I want it to be a surprise in the haul, so not going to say. Hi, little baby. Oh, I like that bluebird whistle. These are pretty, these vanity dusters. I always like these. 35 for her. Mm. Now this vendor here has some of my favorite things. I always leave with an armful of her stuff. I really like her stuff. $27.50. Look at that jar. That's beautiful. We got this jewelry casket. This one seems to be a little newer. There's some milk glass, a little milk glass trinket box. And over here is this case. Oh, I like that little Mickey Mouse in the plane. 95. Here's some more tin types. Whiting and Davis purse. Again, some more tin types, another vanity duster, a Madame Alexander dog, some Sterling. And here's another look at her booth. I don't know that I've seen an amber flower frog. Flamingo. Oh, this one is pretty. Oh my goodness, it's like a fall scene. 
That is amazing. That's pretty. What is that on there? Oh, it's like a, what are those called, a griffin? That's pretty. All right, moving on. All right, we got a basket, so now we're cooking. I missed this little girl earlier when I showed you guys in here. Oh, her arm is missing. Womp, womp. Poor thing. She's pretty. I like these planters. Now you guys tell me, is this Shawnee? I don't know, it's giving me Shawnee vibes. You tell me. I like this little creamer, little restaurant wear creamer. She is thick. No price. Darn. I just stumbled upon this little cutie. It is Napco. They're asking $5.50. Now, if I was doing live sales, um, which I want to do and I do plan on doing in the future, I would pick this up. But for eBay, I just don't think it has enough standalone power, but it is super cute. And then up here, look at this cast iron parlor set. This is so fun to me. I really, really like this. It's $15 for the set. I don't know, I'm thinking about that. Per usual, my phone has decided to poop out on me. So unfortunately, I can't film anymore here, but I'll see you guys at home for the haul. And just like that, we're home and it's time for the haul. We found a lot of stuff, too much stuff. More than the two things I said we were going to try to find. We found a lot more than two things, but that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. So the first place we stopped at was Goodwill. And at Goodwill, I'm going to try and go a little bit fast because I have a lot of stuff. But at Goodwill, I did get this little three pack of bunnies. This one I believe is like a Peter Rabbit type. This one is I think just... Mm, Peter Rabbit as well. He does have a chipped ear, but I mainly got it for this one. I do believe this is a Beatrix Potter. It was $1.99. I haven't really looked. I think in the video I may have looked a little, but I didn't see much. Let's see. Yep, Beatrix Potter. So these can be pretty valuable. Um, I do will have to look him over, make sure he doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything like that, but I did pick this up for $1.99. I didn't show you guys this in the video. I love this. It is this white plate platter and it says H&H &H Meat Market. Compliments of and then 4941 West 14th Street, Illinois. So I love this. I'm probably going to keep this, but I also might sell it. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I love that. So cute. Then I also did pick up this little dish. Look at that sweet girl. It is in per really good condition. The paint is still pretty much perfect. And it is left in. So that was a fun find. And it was only $1.99. Next at Goodwill, I found this on the, oh, on the very bottom of an end cap. And I haven't opened it to see if it's complete. It was $5.99. Um, some of the spots are empty, but then some spots have more than one piece. So I am, I am going to definitely look at it and see if it's all there. This is probably going to be a booth item just because shipping this makes me a little nervous. Um, and I don't know if everything's in there, but it is made in Japan. I'm not sure of the year, but I really like this. I even just like this box. So that was a really fun piece to find at the Goodwill. Then I grabbed this at the Goodwill. This is a little carved wooden shoe. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this that I did with the little um, bronze baby shoe. I'm going to put some bottle brush trees in there and either do a Christmas or a Halloween assemblage. I'm not really sure which which holiday I'm going to go through with that, but that's what I'm going to do with that one. And then the last thing I grabbed at the Goodwill was this. I love this color. This color gets me every time. It's this little baby doll uh, cradle, probably for a doll. It was $3.99. I could not leave it behind, so I grabbed this. This, again, probably going to keep it. If I don't keep it, it's going to go in my booth. So, really happy with this find. Yay, I love that color. All right. Oh, and I don't remember exactly how much I spent at the Goodwill, but all the prices were still on. So, if you want to add it up, you're more than welcome to. So, that was the Goodwill. Um, I also did want to tell you guys, when I was moving the stuff from this morning's video, I did notice that this Giotto piggy here was broken. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to list it on eBay or keep it and put it with my other one. You guys let me know. Would you still bid on this with that break on eBay? Let me know in the comments. But that made me sad, but still, still very cute. So let me know what you guys think about that piece. Then I did really, really good at the antique mall. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Mommy duty's called. I have a 125-pound puppy that my daughter was playing with, and he accidentally knocked her down, and she didn't like that very much. But they are both okay, and they are fine, and they are right next to me, so don't you worry. I got my mommy eyes on. So, But um, where we left off. We went to this antique store. Now this one can really be a hit or miss, but today it was a major hit. I got a lot of stuff I'm really, really excited about. Uh, so let's get into it. First thing I got was this little oop, strawberry shortcake baby doll with her book. And I got this, the set of these for a dollar. So Surely I can get more than a dollar for her on eBay. I've seen strawberry shortcake dolls, but I've never seen a little strawberry shortcake baby. So I'm pretty sure she had a bonnet. She is missing her bonnet, but I think I have something that I can substitute for that. But yeah, for a dollar, I definitely did grab her. Then I grabbed this for myself. It's this little orange and black restaurant wear creamer probably going to put a little pumpkin in here as well and probably put it next to my pumpkin mug so cute really like this it's not marked but that was too cute to leave behind um at this store i did spend with tax and everything it was 97 dollars and 28 cents but i think we did good we got some really good things um next was this this is a victorian photo it's a I believe it's a memorial photo so these are probably the memorial wreaths and then someone cut out and added her little picture to the middle so I did grab that I couldn't leave it behind it just gave me sad feelings and I just felt like it needed a new home so I did grab that and then I am in love with this piece I am keeping this I love these convex little shadow frames with the beveled glass and this one is like a fall scene i've never seen a fall scene maybe i'll have to turn this down but you can see it's got these little haystacks and the pumpkins and a little cabin in the background and the spooky moon and it is you can see convex and i just loved that the back, it doesn't have its hanger, but that's that's no problem. I'm probably going to put it on a picture stand anyways, so it will sit up like this. But I love this piece because I really like to decorate for Halloween, but I don't like the classic Halloween decorations. I like things that are a little bit more absurd. So I love this. I will be keeping this. Sorry. Love it. Tis mine. Tis mine. Okay. Next up was this little girl. I got her for $3. She was originally $15 and then marked down to $3. I'm not sure who makes her. I haven't researched her, but for $3, I did scoop her up. She's giving me witchy vibes. So I'm probably going to throw her up in my Halloween display as well. I just wish that this skirt part was orange instead of red, but 
So cute. What is that, a tube of toothpaste? I don't know, but so cute. So I did scoop her up. This will be for me as well. Oops, I'm really bad at that, um, but that's okay. Then next, I grabbed this. Now I did have to look this up. Originally, I thought that this could be Van Briggle, but I did not recognize the um, pattern. But I think this one is uh, N-I-L-O-A-K. But it is so pretty. I don't see anything wrong with it. This ombre color and this brushed glaze is so pretty. How, how do you pronounce that? Naluk? Naluk? Pottery? It is so pretty. Sorry guys, I know I butchered that, but I love this piece. So this will be on my eBay. It is pretty large, but this is going to be one of the items that goes up on my eBay. Love this. So pretty. Then, speaking of large items, I picked up this Elfie Pixie Man cookie jar. He is in excellent condition. He's got his little hat and his hair has this like texture to it, which I haven't seen that. I, I really like that. Whoever painted him did a great job. He is a hobbyist piece. He is marked 1966. So he is a vintage original. He's got his little hat, no chips, no cracks. I always say that, but sometimes they do sneak up on me, but I will double check as before I list him, but such a little cutie. So this will be on my eBay as well. Love him. I was really excited when I found him and he was really, really affordable. So happy about that. I did pick up this little paperweight with this flower in it. I have several of these. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. If I do sell it, it will probably be in my booth. They don't go for too terribly much on eBay, but that is such a cute little piece. I really like that. It's not showing up that well, but it's much prettier in person. And then I got this little brooch. It's just this acrylic pearlescent bow. I'm not sure what my plan is with this, but I just liked the way it kind of glistened and that pearl. I like that a lot. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or sell it, but we'll have to see where this ends up. But I didn't leave it behind because I just, I thought it was so cute. So I grabbed that. Then I did get these out of a case, which was another funny thing that these were in a case, but this one was only $3.50 and it is sterling. I don't know if you guys can can see that but it says sterling so I did grab that I do collect sterling as well what don't I collect I mean I just collect everything but that's okay and then this comb was two dollars and fifty cents and it is also marked sterling so I grabbed both of those for like five bucks a little over five dollars so I was really happy about that so did I buy anything to resell because I'm keeping these two Oops. <laughs> this right here. I am selling this. And this is one of my favorite things I got. I didn't look it up. I just love these graphics. It is this young American speaker book with these two children and the butterflies. I love this book. I did pay up for this book a little bit, but I just had to grab it. And it's got a provenance inside. It says Martha. Best Christmas wishes from Rodney to John Bill. But the pictures in here are so amazing. And there's some, a lot of them seem to have like these hand pressed stampings or they're hand colored. I don't know if the child did that or if they came like that, but they look to be pretty much like painted or colored by crayon. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the child did that or if it came like that. But there are just some amazing illustrations in this book. And I, I, this one's gonna be hard to get rid of, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be good. 
but it is so such a fun book I didn't see a date in it I'll have to look it over again just to make sure um, but I did grab this a little tease so cute love that grab that and then the last thing I got is this now this is amazing I think I am gonna sell it I don't want to but I can't like I said I can't keep everything it is this antique wooden box I don't know what it would have originally held but it is just so beautiful to me looks like somebody decoupaged this on the front this would look amazing in so many different displays but especially like a Halloween one like as this as your backdrop with your Halloween little trinkets in front of it it is just so beautiful and then let me show you guys my favorite part so I loved the outside of the box but then when I opened it it just magically went into my cart I was like I can't I can't leave it but I love the inside of this box again somebody decoupaged a piece on here it is signed oh it looks like this might have been a lithograph a winter song from the picture by may can't quite read that but i just love that inside and then so you have like your halloween there and then your christmas display there it is so beautiful or even easter this is just very versatile so beautiful so this will probably be available on my ebay as well this is a great piece so that was it guys thank you so much for joining me again i've had a really fun time today i am going to go rest now but thank you so much for joining me at the withering cottage bye guys